the man is back. Chauncey. I was going to preface the episode with it'll be strictly food for this one because I think Cobra and Drinks is an entirely <laughs> it's different own, It's a whole own episode, yeah. yes. <laughs> that goes deep. That'll be the part two to this one. Yeah. Yes. Cobra and food, he's got quite the history with it. Yes, he does. He's an infamous, infamous eater. He can put it right? down. Right? Like, he can put it down all right. If there was Never some normal. Equivalent of war crimes, but for cooking food, he <laughs> would be up in front of a military <laughs> tribunal, Nuremberg trials saying, you know what? You have committed some crimes against humanity. <laughs> Monster. You know, he's like very influenced by like YouTube for, for a long time now, you know? And Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the epic mealtime thing. Like, I'm not sure if you're familiar with a channel that was popular on YouTube like a bunch of years ago called Epic Mealtime. But um, I remember the they, name. I can't remember anything about the guys involved at all. Yeah, they would go and like, you know, go to Wendy's, go to Burger King, go to like, you know, here, there. And then like, we're making a fast food lasagna. And it was just like, <laughs> you know, these like very like extreme, uh, just like shit piles, you yeah. know? And Big uh, yeah, I think, he, I think he c could have been influenced by that because they also do like the heat thing and the bacon and stuff like that. And yeah, Cobra's big into like the heat and, and stuff like, or he thinks he's big he into the heat and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It entices him, but you could say he always gets burnt because it never it, ends. Yeah. R.I.P. his intestines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he Rip. does admire the food guys. He's uh, mentioned Matt Stoney before, if I remember right. Yeah. Find he, that. Uh, I know he's into, like, yeah, Matt Stoney, Badlands Bad Chugs, Lance. like, um, uh, Barbecue Pit Boys. Yeah. He always butchers their, like, <laughs> catchphrases. <laughs> Ken Domic too. Because, yeah, then he uses all these people's, like, lingo and stuff, too. Yeah. He always does the Ken Domic like, shows it to the screen and is like, have a bite. The rest is mine. Have a bite. Have a bite. Yeah, that that's life. a, uh, that's a, yeah, that's another YouTuber's, it's like another YouTuber's oh, shtick. Go figure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, one of the things I like most that he says is just stolen material. Spicy, flavorful. Get a bite. Get a bite. Yeah, it's, that's another YouTuber's catchphrase. Has he shouted out Report of the Week at some point? I thought he had. He has. He has definitely shouted out Review Bruh. Man, just a totally different world. when you Polar opposites. Yeah. Polar opposites. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a suit every day. I mean, the closest thing they have in common is they insist on wearing something all the time. In Cobra's case, it's a dog collar. And then, of course, Reporter of the Week wears a suit every single day. Looking like a vampire. He's getting a little uncanny as he's getting older. <laughs> kind of the child star syndrome where... He, he kind of looks fine uh, as he's growing up because he used to be super young when he got started. But now that that pale skin, it's it's almost translucent, like a looking at a fish. You can see all the the veins. And the guts <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. And he should be fucking tan. He lives in Florida, doesn't he? He lives in Florida. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. He's a Florida man. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> got a head start on that uh, old man living. Just went. Yeah, uh, yeah, he really did. Because he is like an old dude. He is. And now it's really strange to hear Cobra shout him out and reference him. He really admires all the food challenge guys. And I don't know if you remember uh, Das Boot Full of Baked Beans, that line. Adlands, yeah. Yeah, he does that. 
Cobra is cooked in this video. Yes. Can load up all the for the big beans. And goddamn. Yeah. He's gesturing. <laughs> he, he starts casting a chi ball or something, and then he what just goes. What is he? Uh, move on, man. <laughs> 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 I would say Cobra is actually passionate about cooking. It's something he enjoys, and... He really is. Yeah, he really is. Of all the hobbies that he claims to be into, playing guitar and all that crap, whatever else, he doesn't really do anything else, does he, in terms of hobbies, right? Would you maybe consider his tobacco use a hobby? Ooh. <laughs> He's very passionate about tobacco. He is passionate. He's really into tobacco. I'd, I'd count that <laughs> just since we're scraping anything we can get. Cooking and tobacco. He says he's into guitar, but he's garbage at it. I don't think he practices. <laughs> and he's gotten better at cooking. As insane as that sounds. Wait, they, no, no, wait, wait. No, he really hasn't because in the chicken fried steak video, how did this guy attempt to make gravy and he ended <laughs> up with bread? <laughs> I messed up on the gravy. It turned into bread instead of gravy. Ended up with straight up bread, and he and he he tastes it too. Like he he sludges some of it onto his chicken fried steak. Yeah, he takes Sludge. a bite of it. He tastes it, and he says, "Bready." Mm. A little battery. Bready. <laughs> <laughs> bread that should not be a response to gravy ever any food critic review i don't want to hear bready uh, there's been some yeast in here it's been rising and fermenting bready bready i don't know how he thought this was gonna make gravy because he took the grease he fried the chicken in he used a gallon of milk to dip, gallon. To, to dip <laughs> two, like, small pieces of steak. And then he dumped that into the grease. And then he started dumping, like, the flour and Dorito mixture. And when he, like, first dumped it, I was like, whoa, not in the right lane anyways. Yeah. But I was like, that's way too much. And then he came back with even more dough and just started, this is going to be a thick gravy, he said, and when he was making it. Even Warlord was like, uh, I think it's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hunting for the clip. Hopefully I can find it by the time we release this. It was a calzone. It was, um, here we are. I wrote it down. Peanut butter, jelly, mayo, raisin bran. Oh marshmallows and pop tarts it does look like a loaf of bread but on the inside of this calzone we have mayonnaise peanut butter jelly marshmallows raisin bran and strawberry pop tarts oh my god i guess it's kind of normal i mean not normal but i guess it was like yeah breakfast calzone or something but where does the mayonnaise come from <laughs> you know because even like even the, the the candy calzone too like some of the ingredients make sense like the ingredients make sense in two different calzones he takes the sweet stuff and you're like, oh, okay, peanut butter, brown sugar, bananas. I think he puts, like, some chocolate-covered cherries in there. It's like, okay, those, not something I would eat, but okay. But then he starts adding, like, Savory actual stuff. pizza ingredients, yeah. like fucking bacon and cheese and pepperoni. And Here we are. I, I made sure to write down the ingredients for Candy Calzone. Peanut butter, brown sugar, old rotten bananas pepperoni, <laughs> bacon, cheese, and then chocolate covered candy is what I wrote down. It, it could have been the, the cherries. It's probably. the cherries. Yeah. yeah, it is absolutely the cherries. And 
God, that mixture, I personally cannot stand sweet, savory stuff. Chocolate covered bacon is like yeah. so trendy. That's like the it trendy is. thing right now. Big time. The candy calzone is just there's Ugh. like there's so much to, to unpack. Like <laughs> I love when he says something while he's making it like uh dankness is on the way. So making a candy calzone, pay attention, YouTube, because dankness is on the way. He says something else really, really weird too while he's making it. He's like, um, uh, yeah, this looks like some crazy shit you'd eat at like a random party or something. Oh. And I'm just like, <laughs> what, do, you, do you remember when he said that? Like, what kind of party is surfing up that? You know, diarrhea party. <laughs> if I'm ever at a party and they serve up a candy calzone, I'm out. I'm liking the way this is looking. This is looking quite nice, YouTube. Looking like some crazy ass shit you'd eat at a random party like. Cobra's whole thing is, it reminds me of, I read somewhere that pizza in its infancy was a way to get rid of ingredients. They would get all the leftovers and then put on some bread and add cheese and sauce or whatever. But it was just like a big garbage disposal. And yeah. that's exactly what Cobra does with these calzones and some of his uh mac and cheese stuff. He'll oh like, my goodness. I've got yeah. I've got just enough leftover mustard. I'm ready to get rid of it. Yeah. I mean if you like mustard, then fuck it, right? Like I'm almost out of I'm almost out of mustard. And I'm like, well I gotta find a way to just get rid of it here. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that the uh cheesy pasta. Yeah. Yeah. That video is a stomach churner for me, man. Off rip, he mentions that he boiled eggs yes. in the pot in the water he's using for the pasta. Yeah. And you could just see like egg scum. Scum is the perfect word. Right on the yeah. top. Those aren't macaroni and cheese that he was making. Those are like off-brand hamburger helper because he, oh. he says in the video, I believe, he's like, uh, yeah, even if you don't have hamburger, it's, it's still something to eat. I remember the sauce packet. It was a really big thing of powder. And yeah, I, two of them. Yeah. One was one was orange. One was brown. Okay, two. <laughs> two there was okay. Two flavor packets. One orange. One brown. Mustard. Yeah. Ranch, I believe. Ranch mayo. Definitely mayonnaise. Yeah. Yo, but then, but then, he seasons it at the end with salger, a.k.a. Yeah. salt and sugar. Yeah. He just keeps a bag of it on deck. Yeah, big old bag. A little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. It's pretty good, actually. And maybe a little bit of pepper, too, if you're feeling adventurous. Okay, that's good enough. It just looks like slop at the end. There's just like huge <laughs> chunks of the powdered cheese like clumped together. Almost dropped at the end too. Oh yeah. That would have been <laughs> the icing on that shit pile as if he just dumped oh, the whole thing. Oh my goodness. He always has residue from old meals in his cooking ware. Why? Yeah, like, I don't know. Like saving grease is wild. It's yeah. like... He equates grease to flavor. Extra flavor. For some reason. Yeah, like I don't. <laughs> All those past meals. <laughs> and I saved the grease, he said in that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I saved the grease. Is that when he was talking about his legendary Alfredo that we didn't get to see? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I love yeah, I the think way he so. talks about that. <laughs> <laughs> he takes on this really weird cadence when he's yapping about it. I'm like my bacon chicken white Alfredo pasta. That shit was so fucking good. I cooked up a bunch of like practically a whole a whole pack of thick cut bacon and I saved the grease. I threw in a, a little bit of butter and I cooked the chicken breast in that fucking bacon grease with some all meat seasoning from Russ County. 
And I save the grease. And I save the grease. <laughs> it's this weird inflection he uses. It's like proud. Like yeah. he's proud of himself. He's reaching. He even was like accepting of the edits that people made just because it's like <laughs> Yeah, one of one of the edits onto his um on his Facebook page. Just like, yeah, check out this dank spread awareness. Fuck <laughs> bread <laughs> awareness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about bread, I don't think I'd ever heard of ice cream bread before Josh. Is that an ordinary thing or is that his own invention? I think it's a thing, but okay. I definitely had not heard of it until I saw Cobra doing it. Yeah. But. Bread. I wonder if he would like a bread maker if someone sent him one. I mean, yeah, maybe. He likes to lathe. Yeah. He could make a Mountain Dorito bread. Oh. See, especially if you could kind of cue him in that he could add a spin like that. Smell like a baker. Yeah. Say, damn, that goth guy smells like fresh bread. Cobra's Dorito bread. Can, this is swinging. Could <laughs> add his own strains of yeast. Just produce his own. Yeah, he can. Just <laughs> from his beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from his beard crud. Are there any other appliances you think he would really benefit from something like an instant pot or slow cooker i don't think he has one of those yeah crock pot yeah mountain dew dorito ribs he would probably equate time in the crock pot to flavor so just throw in the ribs and then maybe a, a full two liter of mountain dew and just slow cook it until it's all gone it's yep. just completely condensed. It's just a juice. Oh. <laughs> He's just drinking it. Yeah. Easy on the teeth. <laughs> just drink down those ribs. Waterfall. Oh. Cobra's smoky liquid ribs. <laughs> oh, wait. Speaking of smoke and yes. liquid, what yes. about his liquid smoke saga a couple months back? Yeah. With the salmon? He boiled the salmon and like, I don't know if you've ever used liquid smoke no. before, but like a couple drops will like go the distance. No, no longer content with just smoking in the traditional manner. He must now eat smoke. Eat the smoke. If he had a grill, I'm sure he would leave all the filth on it. So, yeah, that's the flavor. I, want I would smoke. love, I would love to see Cobra man a grill. A danger on par with the lathe. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, there, there are actual grills at the uh, apartment complex he's at. Oh, man, he needs to get out there. Somebody should send him a a bag of, of charcoal and some, like, <laughs> Omaha steaks or something. <laughs> It is, oh, it's heartbreaking to see him ruin quality ingredients like that. That was a oh, yeah. looking steak. Unreal. I yeah, the steak, it. dude. It was pretty the, expensive. The, the boiled steak. Yeah. Just mm. boiled in beer and monster energy drink, and then they just placed an entire stick of <laughs> butter on top of it <laughs> yeah, no. on top but also i think they put it below as well so that it would just melt underneath or something weird i'd have yep. to see the video again <laughs> oh wait no, no no they did season it because darf lenny says bone suckling sauce yeah, it wouldn't let the joke go He's got to torment Cobra with more gay jokes, which is the last yeah. thing he wants. Bone suckling sauce. Yeah, buddy. That could be taken sexual. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got some bone suckling sauce for you. <laughs> <laughs> it got the one inch girth. I'm going to poke it with a fork. Get it all good and forked. 
I can't believe it. He made a masturbating joke. <laughs> he liked when Darth, you know, referenced that the steak looked like a vagina. Vagina steak. <laughs> giggity, giggity. It's very vivid because it had the little meat flap going. You could see the labia on it. And it, yeah. looks, it, it makes me uncomfortable to think about. What? How? Yeah. How does it end <laughs> up like that? Because uh, Cobra was like poking it to uh, tenderize it. Yeah. Make it real tender. I remember he's yes, you make it real butter. tender, boiling it for 10 minutes in monster energy. <laughs> <laughs> it, honestly, it probably didn't taste much like anything because there's a big difference between marinating something in a bag for at least a few hours overnight and then just boiling it in whatever liquid. Yeah, he, they, they, he had no idea what he was doing. No. <laughs> Back to the monster thing. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed it, but before he starts eating the steak, before Cobra starts eating his half of the steak, he takes a sip of the plate. Yeah. <laughs> like yes. Tilts the plate <laughs> into his mouth. I want to say it was before and after. He's just slurping it up, getting all... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, at one, and at one point, too, he mentions how tender the steak is. <laughs> Two seconds later, you see him struggling to bite a piece off. So he just gulps the whole chunk down. It's going to be easy as fuck to cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and tender. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Get off of there, you son of a bitch. Unreal. The <laughs> look of pure terror from Darth Lenny, where he looks to the camera and you just know he's scared. Fucking sweet. The butter just made it so freaking tender. If anything, the, the thing that would have scared me the most is his pan. He points it out. He says, we've got grease from previous burgers in there. And that would immediately be a hard no. Check this out. Here's all that grease from the burgers we've been cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and medium heat that bitch. That was, I wanna say his first and last steak. I don't recall him cooking a steak since that one. He shouldn't, he, he no. shouldn't be cooking another steak. That's that was such a bummer. I mean, if that was his first, Let's face it, people make critical mistakes. They, it's not how you imagine it. I have memories of, of making steaks early on and trying to give it like marinade and stuff. And it was just in a pool of, of sauce, not unlike that. You, you learn little things along the way. Yeah, that's true. Cause I mean, speaking of his first time cooking things, the fries. Yeah. Almost Burnt the house Always down. Burnt the house down with those fries. I would just dump these in here, but I don't want the grease to splatter, so. Your next step is just. It's just drop them in there like that. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Damn it! Stop! <laughs> tells the tells the fire to stop. stop. Quit it! <laughs> Cut that Fucking out! Fucking stop! Stop! <laughs> As the flames are shooting up, he like barely has him under control. He goes, "Damn it! 
I need some salt. I need some salt. <laughs> Fuck my life. Fuck my life, YouTube. I need salt. During the steak video, he kills a goblet. It's a uh, first. Oh, yeah. Broken goblet. Cup down. Cup down. That happens to the best of us. Oh, well. No sense in bitching about it. Rest in peace. Yeah, no shit. He Broken goblet. spills way too much beer in it. And I, I gotta say, pretty quick save goes some for the homies. Beautiful. Oh, oh, party foul. Sorry about that. Some for the homies. Quick, quick save, quick Cole. Save. Some for the homies. But what else is new? He is always spilling beer all over himself. Lately, doesn't he? He pours it directly into the chair now, right? <laughs> that is right thing. into the chair. And uh, reactions can be disastrously slow, and he's just pouring beer all over himself. It's one of those tricks you learn. You you tilt the the cup a little bit so the head doesn't just spill everywhere. And I don't see him do that very often at all. It's always no. Just he vertical. dumps. Yeah, he, he dumps. dumps. Did you see him kill the other goblet recently? Yeah, he uh, only Squeezing cobra. Him. Only Cobra could break a gauntlet <laughs> twice. <laughs> First, all the class broke. Yeah, that was that was good. And he's like, you just want to strangle him. He's yeah. grabbing the cup, and then it just. <laughs> I forgot that he had already broken it that night. That's right, because he yeah. he broke the glass. It used to be glass. Yeah. yeah. I was super pissed when the glass on this wine goblet broke. He said, "You know what? I could still drink out of the skull." And made a, a joke about it being like a, a troll skull or something like that. And then, yeah, squeezed it. Made a big face and just busted it. Let me straighten out like... Oh, God fucking damn it! Really? Sincerely. I don't know my own strength. God fucking damn it! Twice in one fucking day, I'm done with this shit! I didn't mean to break this a second time! It was an accident. But getting heated about gender relations, it happens. God fucking damn it! Fuck! Okay, I'm over it. Yeah, talking tough. That was some mice and men shit right there. Yeah, he did some Plans tough to talking and then <laughs> range of emotions. All then he the like snapped after that. He, yeah. You see the bargaining and the, the, the anger, the acceptance, all the emotions. I don't think that gauntlet even made it a full 48 hours in that house. God, he's that thing rough. did not stand a chance. It's, it's not unlike his chairs. He goes through chairs, breaks those. This one is taking a beating. I don't know how much more time it has left with the dog chair. That thing has weathered like four years. It's changing tones. It's, it's uh, going through the color wheel right now, turning green, basically. I mean, think about the what that chair goes through. First, his ass <laughs> fucking falls <laughs> dick on that yes. thing. Yeah. Then the bug saga now he's yeah. dumping beer in the thing he was i mean there's got to be easily six taco bell tacos worth of ingredients easily. in the cushion so that oh. he could open his own taco bell with all the taco bell shit in the can you imagine in that couch I mean, how much would they have to pay you to reach in there and just start pulling stuff out Oh, he did it that day. He pulled out a bunch of like lettuce and cheese and just <laughs> kept it moving. Like he was eating, he just grabbed, yeah, they like fell off into there. He finished the taco, looked down, grabbed it, and just ate it. Kept it moving. 
just a giant petri dish that thing there's so much bacteria and just colonies of everything because like you said his ass is just soaking into it when he's not showering so much of that king cobra shawarma getting deep in there into the fibers yeah it has got to be stinky. <laughs> stinky. I can't wait for next summer because I know the bugs are going to be back. Absolutely. I want more bugs. Did you see when he gave that taco to the dog over at Tina's place? Oh, you better believe I saw when he gave that. <laughs> just wandered away with just lettuce and dropping, <laughs> spilling everywhere. He thought nothing of it. <laughs> I wonder if he gets orders of Taco Bell delivered to other people's houses or if he just brought old Taco Bell from his house. Over there. <laughs> That's it, it could go either way. He could have brought that. He doesn't mind eating old Taco Bell, you know? He'll oh, yeah. eat Taco Bell for like a couple days at a time. So I don't think it's too far fetched for him to leave his home with Taco Bell. I'm gonna have some Doritos Locos tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still hunting for the clip, but there's a infamous story where he door dashed a bunch of Taco Bell, passed out. And then the next morning, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I absolutely remember. I gotta find that, that thing because <laughs> oh, oh, he man. has no problems with eating really disgusting leftovers. He's just he's a scavenger. Uh, he ate those like really hot noodles that yes. he made for like three days and it's like yeah chipped away at him remember those uh ramen noodles i made the other day i still have them and i'm trying to eat as much as i can before they go completely bad these are some spicy fuckers man old ramen old noodles are that really makes me want to puke because they get really saturated when they're just left in broth or whatever. Yeah, they like super expand. Yeah. Just like, oh. it just, yeah, it turns to mush. It's a nightmare to think about eating that. And he's done that yeah. several times before. And then him with Chris, he was uh, grossing him out when he just picked up a random bowl of something and started eating it. Eat that. Why not? I've been sitting out all night. I don't care. I'm hungry. Yeah, even Chris was like, dude, that's been sitting out there all night. Yeah. I was just like, I don't care, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but just the the old the old noodles, man, yeah. that is just like so especially ones that have just been like soaking soaking in something. It's really I mean, gross. Like, dude, like the flaming hot mac and Cheetos. Like, yeah, same thing. He, yeah, it's just like by the end, it's just like a pile of mush. It's just like red, oh. wet starch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because it's like he he boils the pasta in beer and water. Yes. Then Doesn't while it's cooking. Up. He dumps multiple different kinds of hot sauces, one of which is a ghost pepper sauce. Then he crunches like half a bag of extra flaming hot Cheetos and adds an entire like 12 pack of pepper jack cheese. <laughs> Just like, dude. <laughs> what did it smell like in there? What could it have smelled like? He's like, yeah, I'm cooking the pasta, you know, slow and low. Like slow it's and low. <laughs> like so it's that it'll a be brisket or day. something. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about how it's going to have that bite. Slow and low. Because he'll put yeah. it in before the water's even boiling, which is not a good start because it's already starting to absorb water, take on water. And then not even, not even letting it get to a boil. Slow and low. 
he definitely dumped some of the water because when he comes back, he goes, I saved some of the broth. The broth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice word for it. <laughs> he starts talking tough. Like he, he says something like, oh, you know, you, you can't take heat. Oh, yeah. You can't take hot sauce. Oh, he's going to burn your mouth. Loves to talk about how you got to be a big ass man to take on that spicy level. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And then like literally within like probably 30 seconds of him saying that, it's like almost instantly he gets hiccups. Yes. It's like spice induced hiccups. Like bef before he even starts <laughs> eating it. <laughs> he just smells it. It's yeah. Like, it's just <laughs> gets the miasma. <laughs> Oh, that is the insane. Papers. There's like a, and then he starts like eating it, and like, it's just you know he doesn't like it. Just a solid three minute segment where all he's doing is like smacking food around his mouth, hiccuping, and then <laughs> sucking air in. You know when he like the, he'll be like, <sighs> I hate that noise. I can't yeah. stand that. <laughs> that noise. is all he's doing. It's just like he's in. He's just in denial the whole the yeah. whole video. Just like powering at one it. at one point, he even like dumps a ton of parmesan on it to like try to dull the heat down. He's yeah. still just like struggling. I'm gonna send you a screenshot here. I always get this recipe confused with the cheesy pasta. But it's just called dank mac and cheese, and oh yeah, time, I remember. I remember yeah. the dank mac and cheese. <laughs> I always would get this confused, but it has, I think, absurd amounts of peanut butter in it. Yeah, peanut butter just starts to look like a big pile of vomit by the time he's done. Look at the state of that. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's like that's exactly what the Mac and Cheetos look like, too. He just <laughs> cooks them down into their pure starch state. Like, yeah, it's just totally broken down. Like, that doesn't look like food, you know? Like, if you, if you like moved the spoon from that picture and just like 4K. <laughs> you would not you would think that was like a fucking pile of sand or something you know? yeah like, some kind of uh, that, texture for a, a game engine or something yeah <laughs> it does not <laughs> resemble food that's for sure I, I, I can't reiterate enough how gross it is to imagine the pasta being that mushy I, I can't stand that cooked down to the just raw element alchemy yeah, it's been distilled. <laughs> yeah. It's a starch. <laughs> starch pile. I I mean, to get a big spoon, you could get like an ice cream scoop and, and just serve that up. Dude, you could spackle a wall yeah. with that. Like you <laughs> get some paper. You could going. like yeah, you could you could you could replace that with cement, you know. <laughs> you know, it probably was a cement mixer in his stomach. Just make some real yeah. bricks up in there. Oh, shit some, bricks. Yeah, Adobe shit bricks. <laughs> Adobe shit bricks. <laughs> We're missing out. I mean, I'm I'm glad a lot of it is on his phone because it gets a better film quality but to get like a like strap a gopro to his head that has 4k footage and see him cook this stuff would be amazing oh yeah that would be that would be right. great his his outdoor videos with like head or chest cam too would be awesome yeah. oh like a freaking police body cam where it's on the shoulder you get that kind of third person view going yeah oh, yeah man. that would be uh that's might be something one of the one of the pay pigs might want to send over to Cobra. Yeah. If if they got enough money to send a lathe, uh, camera equipment, please. It'd be incredible. Yeah. I mean, but people have sent him like good webcams before and he doesn't oh, use them. So. That sucks. Maybe somebody has sent him a GoPro. Oh, yeah. I bet you're right. It's it has to work just by hitting a button. It has to be as easy as possible. 
what a boglum. He has so many chances and people wanting to help him improve his content. And he is determined to use his awful phone that he's got lately with the filter oh, on it. So <laughs> bad. And again, it's like I like I like his cooking videos, you yeah. know, but they're just they're unwatchable with that audio. It's yes. so bad. It's really grating. You know, with video making, he brought up instant clickbait when he was talking about one of the uh, calzones. I think the, the candy calzone. He called it instant clickbait, which really surprised me. And I'm wondering how well he understands the concept of that. Because I'm sure you've seen his thumbnails lately, right? Like the the phone thumbnails where uh, he's kind of like sticking his tongue out and like... Huge eyeballs, like bug eyes popping out. Yeah, of just like a yeah face. Yeah. Like, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's been engineering those. It could not be a coincidence that that's just like the middle of the video. He happens to be making that giant face. This could be, oh, I want to say secret genius level thinking, but... The there's a, a thing where a lot of scummy YouTubers will make a giant face on the thumbnail because it's been proven to get more views. People just instinctively want to watch the vid when you're bug eyed and your mouth is agape. And he's been. Oh, doing yeah. Like we already said, he is very influenced by YouTube. So yeah. that yeah, that that very well could be. I don't know if that would encourage people to click on them in this case, but I love those thumbnails. <laughs> Man, when that when he pulls that when he pulls that candy calzone out yeah. of it, it's just wet. <laughs> it's like it's so it's so greasy and like right. it's translucent. It's insane. This calzone is swinging, super sweet, super delicious, super packed with flavor. Oh, talk about wet, greasy, the grease burger. Oh, my God. Just sewage, just, just shit water. Oh, all over. What, he's like, <laughs> it's legitimately the greasiest burger I've ever <laughs> had. Legitly the greasiest burger I've ever eaten. But I don't care. Yeah, it's just like m it's motor oil. Yeah. I, 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 you know, and I believe, too, not to go back to the him, like, just being influenced by YouTube. Yeah. But uh, I'm he, he quotes the Barbecue Pit Boys in that video. It's just like. Really? I th Yeah, I think he does their, like, you know, Pit Master Pri or Sorry for Eating in Front of You, Pit Master Privilege, or, oh. or he, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a Pit Boys. That's a barbecue Pit Boys. Someone else's YouTube catchphrase. If there was anything I wish he would steal, there's one line where the, the guy is eating it and they add reverb almost like you're telepathically hearing oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah, when he goes, oh, good. Oh, no, not even that one. <laughs> goes, oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, dude, he is like he's really jamming and cramming in that grease burger video, man. It. He is like making out with that thing, borderline. He had the the two fisted apple hands going. Each hand got the apple claw, and uh, yeah, the bottom jamming. The bottom was just black. Talked about how it was soaked. And just the brownest yeah. liquid. There's another great line on the Grease Burger video, too, where he's like, I'm savoring it. Yes. I'm savoring it. <laughs> <laughs> As if he's eating some, like, caviar or a yeah. lobster or something. I'm, Take I'm his time with this one. Savoring it. Savoring it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a maniac, man. He goes at one point. Is, that is straight up shit. Ah, that's legit shit. When he has the grease going down his arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to exploit that. That is straight up shit. <laughs> it's so good. It just looks like, seriously, just like mud butt all over his arms. Elbow deep. Mo motor oil. Yeah, it looked like he was like... 
fucking working in the garage or yeah. something. Like, yeah. Not eating a burger. Because he's like, yeah, it's getting on my pants. I'm going to have to wash these pants. Getting on the floor. <laughs> he, keeps, he just keeps plugging away, chowing down. I want that to be the guarantee at his restaurant is that you will be doused in grease by the time you're done. Get a tarp. You need like a poncho. Yeah, not not the first or last time he would sp <laughs> spill yeah. grease and other things all over himself. <laughs> the, the Mr. Stroming spilling that. Yeah, so Stroming is just like, it smells so bad that you're supposed to. The proper way to open it is you take it and you hold the can underwater. Correct. And yeah, then... Then you open it, Story. and not only did he open it indoors, he was fucking spilling it, yeah. and... Uh, it was spraying because of the pressure. Right yeah. Away. And he yep. still kept it up. He, he didn't think to do anything differently when it was spraying as he opened that thing. Oh, you like them apples, YouTube? I got it. Oh, it's squirting. Ew. Oh, dude, that is nasty. Oh, holy fuck, dude, that smells like sh I should have opened that in the trash can. By some miracle, he was able to operate the can opener, too. Of all times. Yeah, exactly, of all can times. You imagine if he used the knife technique on that thing? <laughs> Just to stab it? <laughs> See what I done did here. I stabbed some holes in the can. <sighs> he hasn't done the knife thing in a minute. I miss when he would do that. Yeah. yeah. He was so proud of it. He, he'd get the little corners neatly pulled back. He had a method. Oh, yeah, because then he would take, like, pliers yeah. and bend it back. It's just, like, a whole thing. It was a process, yeah. This is like, yeah, this dude would just take, like, ten minutes to open a can of beans. He's drunk. He, he needs to eat something. Gonna get him some pork and beans to go with the, the deep-farted avocados. I think that was his little <laughs> precursor meal <laughs> as those were cooking away. Oh, the deep farted avocados are wild because he, I mean, it's like the same kind of like dark oil or whatever. Yeah, and it's really like, yeah, you know, places make, you know, deep fried avocados, but the oil isn't black. And I believe traditionally you do not eat the skin. No. He just, just the, cut them in half and <laughs> tossed them right in there. Dude, that skin had to be as tough as shoe leather. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> right? That's just, I mean, imagine that being like trying to eat a Timberland boot or something. Good for date night. Talk about you bring a girl over, you want to impress Oh, her, yeah. Give her these That's avocados. That's right. Whole avocados <laughs> dumped in oil with ranch all over them. <laughs> Here you go, and baby. They pour, yeah, poured poured ranch where the pit was. Sprinkled them in like some some Tony's, Tony's seasoning yeah. or something. <laughs> Can we talk about how he used to have a restaurant sized drum yes. of Tony's seasoning in his kitchen? Yeah, that's right. The drum. <laughs> it straight up had a handle on it. <laughs> <laughs> he would pour it into the lid, the big old saucer. And then use that to kind of garnish yeah. his food. Yeah, the Tonys. To, to season his bread before he All burns purpose. it in the pan. All-purpose seasoning. <laughs> it can go on anything. All the Tonys. <laughs> it's one of those uh, just staples. He has certain ingredients that he will use in almost any recipe. And I'd say Tonys, mayo, ranch. Dude, speaking of ranch... The Burger Den video. Yeah. A.K.A. The Ranch Bath. <laughs> A.K.A. A.K.A. Baptized in Ranch. Dude, he's just dripping. It, it's it's in his beard, yeah. his hands, his arm. Messy, greasy, packed with flavor. He sips it at one point. He, like, dumps it all over the burger, and then he takes the cup, and he just 
sips the ranch like it's a shot of wheatgrass or something <laughs> for your health <laughs> oh, <laughs> for your it's health. weird oh uh, what was he saying like uh salute salacha cilantro and then just take a big sip so ouch salacha salute <laughs> i missed that but yeah yeah ranch. <laughs> you will eat that on yeah it. He's like so covered in ranch in that video too. It is <laughs> yeah. insane. It's like he's like, I mean, I know he hates the fucking toddler thing, but like, yeah. seriously, you know. And at one point too, he's just like displaying how slathered in ranch he is. Yeah. He gives this look to the camera, like, <laughs> like he's proud of himself. And then like one of my favorite Cobra quotes is messy. Greasy, packed with flavor. <laughs> yeah. You know, I love a good packed with flavor. I love a good, here's that cross section. There's kind of a scale of how much he likes stuff. And it was really funny in the green curry video. I thought he was going to add an extra bit, but he just stops talking. And I thought, well, it must not have made the cut. Spicy, flavorful. I mean, that's got to be the most exotic thing I've ever seen him eat. Yes. You know? That that had to be a troll meal because I can't see him ordering that for himself. Cobra is not picky about what he eats. He'll eat anything. Pig's feet saga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the the darkest room ever total black oh, dude that video is weird it's whispering that video you. is just weird oh, yeah asmr going on it's like yeah i was just gonna say it's like an asmr video he's he has like um has like an extreme vocal fry too his oh, voice yeah. is like talking very gravelly like he was smoking spice wasted yeah it, it did remind me of uh, one of his Spice videos. Hopefully not. I think he was just really drunk. But said, you're going to get yeah. a treat. I'm going to eat pig's feet in total darkness, and you're going to listen. And then comes the slurping in yes. that video. Yes. I mean, it's just, it's such a weird, vi it's like a, <laughs> it's like a scene from a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie or something. Like, yeah. it's just, it's, it's just fucking weird. Kind of gets into, like, some guy's really weird fetish that's being catered to. Hyper-specific. Yeah. <laughs> pig's feet in the darkness. I want to hear the noises. ASMR eating pig's feet, pig's feet. in a dimly lit room. <laughs> <laughs> Which, the least relaxing thing for most people out there. Anyone who is sensitive to eating noises is just going to lose their mind listening to that. Oh, absolutely. It is chur stomach churning again. <laughs> He's like a ghoul. He'll just eat brains. He eats the pork brains. He ate the pastrami. Oh, the pork brains, dude. Yeah. Dude, nah, he didn't even he didn't even eat the pork brains. He drank, drank the pork brains. He literally waterfalled them. This into dude it. this dude turned pork brains into a beverage. Mm. He turned it into damn. a he turned it into a bevy. Drank it dead ass. And then he just poured it into his big old maw. He's pretty oh brave, my man. Goodness. To be able to eat yeah. that, I I would have some trepidation to eat pork brains. That's a little spooky for me. But he's yeah, I'm not. He's a much braver, braver eater than most people. I'll say it again. He's a ghoul. He's like a, a wastelander, a post-apocalypse, uh, Mad Max kind of guy. Just old can stuff. Rotting food. Yeah. It's all <laughs> organs. Did you say Mad Max? <laughs> Mad Max. That's funny because he like looks like a character from a yeah. Mad Max movie. He, he does with the weathered trench coat and the hat and spikes. Just get him Mad some food pads or something. I'm sure a collar. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking it's eye patch. 
Yeah. <laughs> really complete the look. Yeah, he'd fit right in. Just wandering around, casting spells, eating pork <laughs> brains. When Cobra displays the pork brains in the video, it yeah. just looks like... Oh my goodness. Pink cubes and pink water. Yeah, just pink. No like hesitation. Curdled Pepto Bismol. Yeah, he just kicks it back. Yeah. Drink. There are people on the spectrum that are in just incredibly sensitive to eating a lot of foods. They'll only eat French fries or certain brands of chips. He eats everything. Yeah, he really will eat anything. Bugs, like yeah, the bugs, <laughs> the bags of bugs that people <laughs> sent him. Bags of bugs. Even if he was having a hard time tasting things, the texture. He's not sensitive to texture. No, definitely not. He, he if anything, he adds extra texture to the things he eats. Crunched Doritos yeah. and Cardinal Chair, Cardinal. whatever the fuck he calls. Oh, yeah, right in front of him, clearly reading uh, cordial. Yeah, cardinal. He, he adds extra texture to the things he eats, oh, yeah. if anything. Uh, things that would be unwanted for a normal human being. You don't want to be tasting uh, cherries exploding in your mouth while you're eating a hamburger. No. All that goo <laughs> and the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the texture oh, of, of sushi when you're eating pizza. The, the roll and the rice and the seaweed. Uh, yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah. No and It's like, I I mean, I like those things on their own. Yeah, I'm not. For yeah. Sure. But combined, I mean, fish pizza, I was definitely going to bring up that I have talked about that thing to death. But just on the subject. Yeah, of, I feel like you, you have to bring up the. God, yeah, at man. least, Fiery Fish Pizza's got to at least get an honorable mention. It gets an honorable mention. If. If anyone hasn't seen him eat the fiery fish pizza, go check it out. It's his hubris in action. Talking about the spicy food again, you got to be a real man, you got to be tough. It's him being confronted with all that big man talk. Yeah, this one separates the boys from the yeah. men. Eating himself sick until he literally vomits from it. And I don't know if it was the spiciness or the taste that made him throw up could not get relief. I'm trying to think of all the foods he's put together that were just a, a miss. The egg is an easy one. Putting the, the ghetto grape on the hard-boiled egg. The tasty puff. Yeah. Ghetto grape hard-boiled egg. I mean, the, <laughs> the name alone of, you know, just that alone is enough to make me laugh. This is um flavored spray. I want to, you can spray this on your tobacco. You can spray it on your food. You can spray it on your drink. I want to spray this grape spray. I want to spray Tasty Puff on this fucking egg, hard boiled egg, and eat it. So why the fuck not? Oh, oh man, mm -mm. I'm not doing that again. Oh, no. Tasty Puff Ghetto Grape does not go on a hard-boiled egg. Oh, dude. That was fucking gnarly. Oh. Fuck, I don't want to swallow it, but I'm not going to waste it. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Why would... I don't think you're supposed to eat... I mean, dude, just the Tasty Puff... Ghetto grape. Yeah. Like the couple videos that it appeared in, just amazing. Low key, low key bangers, man. The one where he's just sitting in dead silence, like <laughs> spraying it onto like a pipe, and, and then he breaks his silence. He's just like, experience the fiery taste of. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> He's like experience the fire and taste of tasty puff ghetto. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Experience the fiery taste of tasty puff. 
doing a little plug for it. He just, yeah, he made like a little commercial for it. I don't know. Yeah, he <laughs> definitely in his mind was making like a little commercial for them. And then, yeah. He must have yeah. been having some good luck with it up until that egg. He, yeah, because what? He must have really liked it to think yeah. he could just spray it onto an egg. He popped the whole damn egg in his mouth. Wait, then, he said, then he says in the video, he's like, well, I'm not going to waste it. Yeah. And he like begrudgingly eats the yeah. rest of it. He refused it's to like, spit it out because he didn't want to waste an egg. Waste what? The egg? Yeah, but is egg. he talking about the egg or I, the tasty puff ghetto I, grape? Oh, man. Either. It's, it's pretty disposable. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Josh. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to waste it. An egg. He always... Uh, puts up a front that he's loving whatever it is he's eating. Uh, it's always the best. He's always having a big old orgasm in his mouth. But really, you know, there there has to be some doubt. It can't be very good. I'm not that hungry. No. <laughs> when he has that burger and he proceeds to eat every French fry in that box over the course of, I'd say, what, three to four real minutes... Holding oh my on god, in his ah, dude! Makes me that laugh f- <laughs> so dude, hard. The video is nothing. It's just silence, silence and lip silence. smacking. Yes, thoughtfully it's like the, picking and choosing like the, for eyes. He's like the world's slowest speed eater. <laughs> it's like the way he's just like. Mm. <laughs> I love that part. Dude, it's nothing. There's nothing going on in that video. He, he, breaks, he breaks the silence only to say like, so, like hmm, this burger's got peanut butter on it. This burger's got peanut butter on it. I don't know why that gets me. I've been struggling to find the words to express why that sequence makes me laugh so hard, but I can't get enough of him eating those fries, holding up a bun. (laughs) Mm, It's got peanut butter on it. Yeah. 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 That was obviously a uh, a troll meal too. Yes. If he was just discovering that there was peanut butter on it, yeah, they were trying to get him. Well, jokes on them. He loves peanut butter yeah. on his burgers. Yeah, kind of stuff. absolutely. Joke is on you. Yeah, man, he was getting sent a lot of food for a time. It's it's been coming in on occasion. There was the warlord thing where he was getting sent sauce sandwiches, um, and then. Taco Bell and stuff. I think he got some troll Taco Bell. Wait, sauce sandwiches? Yes. So during the big... <laughs> people sending him sandwiches yes. that were just condiments? I'll, I'll get a clip because it's so good. When Warlord was over, he gets really pissed because he gets some Subway. Warlord is stoked because they're getting free food and he's hungry. He's a hungry homeless yeah, man. But, yep, I remember that. And so Warlord finally gets it out later and Cobra's pissed. And as he's opening it, it's like Cobra knows that the sandwich is fucked. He's like, you oh, little baby, little summer child. And Warlord starts tearing into it and it's just sauce and veggies. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. so good. <laughs> so good. I had it. no idea. He just kind of like side eyeing him, looking at him, going, you, you don't know what I do. It's all sauce. <laughs> I can't remember before <laughs> somebody, I don't remember where, but somebody suggested someone sent him a calzone filled with pine nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think that same weekend, um, Mr. Green, he held it up and he told me, he said, I did not actually order that pizza. But they sent him a pizza that was just all mushrooms. But this was a no sauce, no, no cheese, no meat, mushroom pizza. 
That is most definitely not what's up. Yeah. Right. I know people have before sent him just cooked crust with crust. Nothing, nothing else on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing that pizza places will honor that request. You know something's <laughs> up if you're just requesting bread. They figured out his address, but didn't quite hit the mark because a lot of it was going to his neighbor who was. Oh, yeah, that's really right. Getting pissed. pissed. Yeah. Yes. That, that's the wrong number on there, dude. Oh, you're good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, I live in 25, okay? All right. My bad, dude. I, I'm not, I'm Can you stop doing that, dude? I'm not the one doing it, dude. It's for you, though, right? Yes, sir. I'm not the one. You're doing Josh Sanders? Sanders, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm telling. I keep telling my YouTube fans not to send it to me. And then they call the number. They call the number, and then the number's not even like active or you know. Yeah. And so like, like it's it's. I don't. Becoming a real big mishap. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, dude. Like, so stop that from happening, please. I'm trying. Okay. I appreciate you, bro. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> I can't help but just think about how he dumped what must have been a gallon of Baja Blast all over the floor. When oh the, yeah, when the like handle handle did something <laughs> right. The packaging just you either dropped it or it fell apart and just Baja Blast tidal wave. And of course that. I wish people quick order me fucking food all over. Yeah, and, and he's he's not going cleaning that up, no. you know. The flies. It's just gotta be like from. a sticky like a I mean theater. just yeah, think of all the yeah, just <laughs> and the, the the food going everywhere, the the booze <laughs> soaking the in, yeah. the the fucking <laughs> Yeah, just like <laughs> the alcohol all over the floor, the soda on the floor, yeah. food on the floor. It's like that. His apartment has to like smell like uh, the day after a Slayer concert yeah. in the venue. You know, yeah. like <laughs> oh, you know that bar smell. That yeah, just like lingered. spilled alcohol. Like that, alcohol, yeah, and, like cheap food combined. You get a really specific smell. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. Someone kind of uh, half acidly trying to clean it, so you might get a little bit of like Clorox smell or, or disinfectant, but you still yeah, smell, smell everything. His cooking methods. There's, of course, he sets his oven to 420, no matter what. Oh yeah, baking. always, always 420 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> and that can't that can't end well. Sometimes, I mean, it's not a coverall temperature. Things need to be cooked no, at, at different heat. No, absolutely heaps. not. And now he says that. He's a maniac. Yeah. I preheated the oven to 420 and baked it for just a wee bit until the cheese on top was melted. Yes. And then the 10 second bursts on the microwave. Got to get it just oh, right. My God, dude. Another 10 second burst. He's staring into that microwave like that pondering the orb meme that's going yeah. around the internet right now. Gazing right into <laughs> it. Yeah. Getting blasted <laughs> with microwaves. I mean, it's not a good idea to put your damn eyeballs right up against it. Not for like seven, ten second increments. No. Burst. Blasting ten eyeballs. second burst. Another 10 second burst. <laughs> <laughs> open the door and what? put his head in to look at it for a little bit I don't know what he's trying to determine and then yeah 10 second burst another 10 second burst it melted just right yeah never never melt the cheese like on the stove no Always got to okay. pop it in the microwave, really turn that burger into rubber. Another 10 second burst. Get all the moisture out in all the wrong places. On a wet ass bun, dry as a bone <laughs> beef patty. <laughs> I guess we already talked about the, the Cardinal burger, but I just started immediately thinking about him smashing that thing and smushing it and the, the goo 
at one point the colors the yeah colors. and he goes here you go and he pushes the plate and the burger towards the camera for a second Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the best thing he's ever made? Like just like best the, as in like most edible most thing? Edible, definitely. Most edible thing he's probably ever made was that hot pocket for Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Treating her right. Yeah. Treating Stephanie right. <laughs> He used to chow <laughs> down on those. That was a big part of his diet was Hot Pockets. He's always eating those. I don't know what changed. Uh, it's almost like as soon as he stopped really being independent, because that was during an era where he, I think, was buying his own groceries and paying his bills, and he was eating a lot of Hot Pockets. Balling, Balling out on Hot Pockets. pockets. <laughs> Just remind him of treating Stephanie right. Ooh, they're tainted. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, can't eat the Hot Pockets anymore. Bad memories, dude. Three meat and cheese, yeah. no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of Snake Bones. Special thanks to Chauncey for being an incredible guest as usual. I hope you enjoyed spending time with us and we'll look forward to even more extra crispy content that I'll be working on over the up and coming weeks. <laughs>